and goat. Is this a chupacabra? YouTube channel Getting Spooky shares this creepy video of a strange creature seeming to feed off of a goat. Keep an eye on the goat's underbelly. Man. What is that? The guys try to chase it down, but it eludes them. But then it detaches and slithers away. Some in the comments say this is what's called a hantu air, a water ghost found in Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. I believe it. The way it looks and moves is too unusual to be any type of animal. Number 4. Here's another strange basement video that doesn't seem to have any good explanation besides the paranormal. A YouTuber named David's Ghost Cams has recently installed a brand new smoking carbon monoxide detector that seems to be acting quite strangely. First of all, it only goes off when he is downstairs. Second, it tells him that the carbon monoxide levels are at 0%, which means it shouldn't be going off at all. Finally, it tells him to get out of his home. Okay, so we're gonna go downstairs, and I'm going to show you what happened the other night. Look what happens as soon as he steps foot in the basement. Keep in mind that this alarm has not gone off since the last time he went downstairs. There's obviously no smoke to speak of. This, combined with other weird happenings, has David convinced that his basement is quite haunted. David explains that he once had a house guest who stayed in the basement over three months before taking his life. Everyone was surprised. Ever since then, David has noticed things in the house moving around by themselves strange noises, and most recently, the faulty smoke alarm. Even stranger is that how, as soon as David starts talking about the smoke alarm again, it goes off on its own for a second time. The only explanation I have for this video is that somehow David is manually testing the smoke detector himself and blaming it on a ghost as a prank. However, all of the smoke detectors I've ever seen requires you to physically press a button. This one really does seem to be going off all by itself. This brings me to an interesting point. If David's house guest was a friend, then why would he be telling him to leave his home? Perhaps there is some sort of danger. Perhaps he is trying to warn David of a gas leak or an impending fire. I guess only time will tell. When you go onto abandoned property, don't expect to be the only one there. Published YouTube by Double Bins in January of 2008, this video will dissuade you from ever entering an abandoned home. The clip shows some adventurers exploring an empty home, or one that they think is empty anyway. The two-story White House appears to be in the middle of the countryside. As the boys approach it, its big empty windows are like empty eye sockets, giving the house an even more sinister vibe. They enter the house, which doesn't even have a door. It's wide open to whomever dares come inside. The place is an absolute nightmare. It looks as though something tore through the house and destroyed everything in its wake. The oven door is in the middle of the living room. As the boys walk through, the one filming scans the roof, which has a window open to the second floor. That's when they see they're not alone. A figure passes by in plain view overhead. The roof is off. The <gasps> Oh my. Oh. Needless to say, the boy who captures it on film immediately flips out and they both race out of the house and across the field. Whether ghost or human, this is definitely something worth fleeing from. A paranormal investigator known only as Survivor is on his way to go exploring an abandoned haunted cottage.
On the outskirts of town, one o'clock in the morning is when he sees, in his words, a strange grandmother on an abandoned road. There is no reason for anybody to be walking miles from town so late at night, let alone a senior, so he pulls over to see if she needs any help. To his surprise, the woman who was just there moments ago has mysteriously disappeared. He has a really bad feeling so he pulls over at the side of the road. What he finds next has him wondering if this was a real ghost sighting caught on video. He finds nothing but an old tattered cloth where the woman was last sighted. It looks like it could just be a piece of roadside trash like a tarp or something. Take another look. Was this item really what her ghost was wearing? Another poltergeist is haunting an abandoned church, and this one isn't so playful. Published to YouTube in July of 2021, this abandoned church has some supernatural visitors. Inside the church, amongst the whistling in the wilderness, something thuds nearby. The boys hold still, trying to listen for more unexplained noises. Moments later, they are standing there, casting light on the wall, when a distant, low-pitched moan is heard in the background. Well, in what looks like a basement space with lots of old items stored, a blast of sound is heard in the next room. Something heavy and out of sight was thrown on the ground. As the boys attempt to speak to the spirit, another strange moan sounds faintly. Yeah. And then a couple of shelf doors are slammed shut with great force. In another area of the haunted church, several small successive thuds are followed by a strange double beep. They quickly get away from that space. Later, when peeking around a corner, a cabinet door slowly closes. <laughs> Whatever is closed isn't caught on camera. Not long after, a big heavy door slowly opens before being jarringly half shut. They approach the door. There is nothing on the other side. As the scary video wraps up, one of the crew is taking in a dark room when they hear a faint noise in the darkness. Como lo hicimos en aquella ocasión que entramos a este. They look over, shining a light there but find nothing. What is following them through this church? Perhaps a demon that couldn't be redeemed? Oftentimes we see movements out of the corner of our eye and we think we're imagining things. What if we aren't? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Kid Blast Double, this clip got Redditors up in arms. The video shows someone entering their backyard with their dog, but check out the fence beyond. A shadow figure can clearly be seen fleeting across the yard. It arrives behind the tree and doesn't move beyond. Apart from slightly peeking from around the tree, which can be seen on the close-up of the clip, the top comment was from Redditor Dads for Sons, who said he'd watched the clip on repeat a million times, and his first reaction was, whoa, the slow-mo gives him the chills, he says. In response, Redditor PaulVS88 points out that the OP, Big Pappy Thunder, said, honestly didn't think anyone would get it, or that it would somehow get nearly 7,000 upvotes, but here we are, figured I'd bamboozle 
maybe five people, then take it down for a laugh. Redditors with a sense of humor had a laugh about it. Tactius Kilgore writes, The shadow people have him and are in control of his Reddit account. There was one oddity in the video that was unedited, however, the thing peeking, but Thunder thinks that it was more likely a light from far away or from the yard behind than the shadow ghost that he'd edited into the footage. Still, this video will likely have you second guessing the next thing you see out of the corner of your eye. Joe Rob TV sees something on the side of the road that's so creepy, he isn't even sure if he was imagining it or not, so he has to take a second look. This time, he has his camera ready to record. What the f Oh, what the f Oh, what the f The strange person slowly approaches with their hands in their pockets, almost like they've been expecting him. And Joe Rob quickly speeds off. It's hard to tell if they are wearing a Halloween mask or if their facial features are really that oversized and distorted in real life. If they are wearing a mask, it must extend under the shirt because I can't see where the mask ends and their neckline begins. A YouTuber named IN7 and a large group of friends decide to investigate an abandoned home for some possible paranormal activity. They didn't find anything that strange on the first floor, aside from some mattresses, so they decide to go up a flight of rickety steps that looks far from safe. Are uh, you not some laughter stops them in their tracks. They start to run, but then find confidence in numbers and decide to keep going anyway. When they get to the top floor, they find more mattresses. One of the mattresses has a human-looking figure on it with black sheets pulled above the head. Suddenly, some other kids rejoin the group to warn them of more people. I need them. I need <laughs> they hear laughter again and bolt down the steps, out of the house. The laughter sounds distant yet somehow all around them. If it's not editing, then it's definitely paranormal. The group will never know if the person laying on the mattress was just sleeping or not alive. They could have stumbled upon some ritual sacrifice for all we know. This truck was supposed to be a gift for Christmas, but it only seems to move by itself and refuses to take orders. Orbs fly by here at the 54 second mark as we shift our focus to the useless remote control, which sits discarded on the counter. A toy truck moving by itself is definitely weird, but what happens next seems like way too much of a coincidence to be completely random. I know that my audience is evenly split on the subject of orbs, with half believing they are paranormal and the other half certain they are just dust. I still haven't decided what the answer is for myself, but it's videos like this one, where an orb just so happens to fly over the object as soon as it's mentioned, that really makes me wonder what's going on here. This video is also posted on my Chills Narrator subreddit by a user named Bboars. Whenever they find themselves at this particular highway intersection, their Lexus starts beeping out of control. Okay, this intersection, it always happens here. These innovative car sensors are designed to alert the driver when someone is in front of the car. No one is anywhere near them, but here you see both of the yellow arrows are lit, meaning it detects someone straight ahead. Seconds later, you can see the right arrow is on, which means that someone is now moving to the right. I just wanted to stress that this never happens at any other intersections, only this one. And according to Bboars, this event has occurred four times in the past two years alone. With this evidence in mind, this intersection could definitely be the haunting ground of someone who didn't make it across the road in one piece. An unexplained ghost sighting caught on camera by Chris Allen looks real enough to have me beyond creeped out. It looks like something small is underneath, or scarier still, someone, a ghost, is running their hand along the covers. Where you at? I don't see you. Mm, there you are. 
What are you doing? Yo, this is so creepy. It looks paranormal, but I'm suspicious because he never looks underneath to verify nothing's there. My feet are over here. Both of them. Look, both of my feet. This is not my feet. There's nobody in this bed. Yo, <laughs> I'm getting out of the bed. <laughs> I really hope this is like a pet mouse or something, or else his bedroom is definitely haunted. This creepy randonautica led YouTuber Jasko Vlogs to Devil's Forest, and he was met with this mysterious call of the wild. Oh, I don't know. Trying to see if there's anything. Bro? What was that? I don't know what that was, but it sounded afraid. They then find this bizarre shelter. Alright. Looks like someone built some type of shelter here or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just... What is it for? Jasko is right that it's not natural. Shortly after, they feel like they're being followed. Walking towards us right now. Um, I don't know if it's that same person, but let's get out of here. While I'm uncertain if they are or not, I do think it's smart to put some distance between them and that mysterious shelter. Ghost. You're not the only one waiting for eternity at the DMV. Some have been waiting so long, they've passed away from boredom, literally. Shared by YouTuber El Gap Terror, this scary video is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video's original source is unknown. This man may not be waiting at the DMV, but what he captures on camera in a waiting room is strange and unexplained. According to the video, he is waiting for his sister at school when he decides to take a random video. A dark, semi-transparent figure appears right in front of the man recording the footage. Do you see it? How can you explain this? Is the camera's refocusing causing a momentary figure to appear? Or is someone here, waiting for their demise? Personally, I wouldn't wait around with it to find out. Number 20. A video has gone viral all throughout Indonesia because it's so scary. According to the uploader, Ari Abdul Rohim, a jinn is about to gain possession over an innocent man. An unseen force pulls his foot and then sits him up. It might be acting, but if so, he's really good. He appears to go into a meditative trance to calm himself down. It appears to work, or maybe the jinn has already moved to new prey. I will admit that this is some of the best evidence I've seen, that possessions can be transmitted just by being in the same room. I want to believe they're acting, but it's hard to fake that level of anguish and fear. So either this video is paranormal, or a demonstration of how fear is contagious. A woman is practicing a presentation while her friend films, but they both become distracted by the poltergeist in the room. TikToker Real Scary Video shares this footage. One, two, three, go. One, okay, now? now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verify the client's... Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure. First, the light flickers. Verify the client's identity and provide... 
Ano ito? Sige pa na yung pasig na, sige na, sige na, sige na. Then something disturbs the closet. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Ay! 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 Well, we can't see what made the noise. I'm pretty sure whatever it was lost its patience. Talk about a non-supportive ghost. Ano ito? Sige pa na yung pasig na, sige na, sige na, sige na. O, tara, tara, one, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, uh, now that I have introduced myself to the patient. If you saw someone in a window just standing and staring, what would you think? Would you consider it abnormal? Would you be concerned about their mental state? These Lithuanians saw this strange staring man as cause for concern when they posted this video to their YouTube channel. Reposted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Martillo, the Redditor writes, Couple of Lithuanian YouTubers are driving with other couple friends around the city and they come across this strange guy in his apartment. They're saying that he maybe is possessed. The windows in the building across from the Lithuanian's car are all darkened, apart from one brightly lit window on the second floor. There stands a man appearing to stare out into the night, oddly still. Upon closer inspection, the man looks like he's rolling his head around before turning to the side and staring off again. He stares forward for a time, this having gone on for a solid minute, before turning around and switching off the light in his apartment likely because he notices the men outside are shining their light up at his window, watching him. Martillo notes that although the men in the video are laughing, the image of someone staring out their window blankly is somewhat scary. He says the behavior is strange. Well, that may be so. You could argue the same for the behavior of the occupants of this car. The news is pretty boring until something totally unexpected like this happens, and you'll never guess what it is. Two anchors are having a chat when their background gets bizarre. Well, it, it was really nice. I've been very lucky because I've looked after by a, a fantastic medical team, fantastic consultants and nurses. Ordinarily, I would say this is two different shots edited together. However, the crowd seems to stay the same as the man disappears. At four seconds, you can see the individual is crossing from left to right. They come out from the column soon after the man disappears, which indicates this was all one continuous take. This abandoned house was a favorite haunt for squatters, and now it will soon be the favorite haunt of urban explorers. Published to YouTube by Lomar Mendez in March 2021, Omar and Chelsea dig right into the seriously creepy house. Littered with random garbage left behind, graffiti on the walls, and antique gems that look like they've been around for at least a century. Wandering through the house, Omar opens a door and as he does, listen closely. You can hear a voice whisper, Look. Fernando, I haven't really been here in about a year and a half. The very first time we came here, we actually found homeless people stuff upstairs. A detour into the bathroom brings viewers one of the grossest things seen in this top 10, a pile of discarded hair in the sink. They enter a bedroom which might explain all the hair, as the room once housed people. Their belongings are still scattered across the floor. Further along they find scraps of paper with strange noises written on them. They say, disintegrates with light and zap the ground. As they're heading upstairs, something falls in the room behind them, pushing them to pick up the pace. Oh, go, 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 go. Just upstairs. What's that? Shh, shh, shh. But now they have one problem. There's no way out. They wait around upstairs, but no one approaches, and nothing more is heard. Using an electromagnetic field detector, they sense energy in the home, though the electricity isn't on. It's a steady current. Look at that. So there's a spirit in here? Who's this your host? Yo, it's steady. Like, for real. The necrophonic device they use in the basement seems to confirm that energy. When they ask who's in the house with them, a voice says hi, and later, sir, hi. Who is in here with us? Hi. Hi, you're hiding. Are you hiding? 
They continue to communicate with the spirit and an orb appears in the top right corner of the door. Did a spirit just enter? Was this your home? They ask the spirits to make a noise for them. It almost sounds like it says ghost. Can you make a noise for us? They both start to feel ill and uneasy. As they're getting ready to leave, Omar says he felt like the entire house shook. I almost thought it, like, it almost felt like the house shook. Like the entire house right there just shook. I think they even could have done that. That's like demonic. Not long after, while they're speaking to each other, an orb appears to drift from Chelsea's head. I don't know, but it's like really eerie quiet now and like... Yeah, it's really quiet. Have the spirits attached to their new hosts? If that's the case, that would truly mama my Mia. Be spirit. Their spirits abound in this sea of lost souls. YouTuber Franco TV investigates cemeteries around the world. And in this one, he captures clear footage of a spirit. But still no sign. This is one of the most convincing full-bodied apparitions I've ever seen. Here's a closer look. But still no sign. What the f was that? And that's not the only creepy thing Franco encounters in this cemetery. What is this hooded figure doing here? And are the two captures related? My theory is that this hooded man is a cult member, drawing up the spirits from their graves. What do you think is happening here? This scary video is, for sure, causing panic among viewers. Sisters a horrifying event happened in this home. Three sisters all had their lives taken here, and ever since, it has been abandoned and haunted. YouTube team Ming's Paranormal investigates the abandoned house. One YouTuber hears a whistle during the home tour. Did you hear it? Here it is again. In another instance, this mysterious orb descends from above, disappearing halfway across the screen. That doesn't look like your average dust particle. Do the souls of the three sisters still linger in this abandoned house? I definitely think the team should spend more time here to see if they can make further contact. But personally, I don't think I'd have the guts to step foot in this place. Number 3 Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.